From your patio furniture to your grill and of course your car, nothing can escape the pollen these days. But what if the same pollen could be used to help solve crimes? There is an exclusive group of scientists who are doing just that. Andy Lawrence is the only full-time professional pollenologist in the U.S. And he joins us now from Chicago. Andy, thanks so much. This is fascinating. How do you use pollen to solve crimes? So uh, every region of the planet has its own unique pollen print that's generated by the local plants. So pollen is very unique for each plant. So think of it like a fingerprint for a plant. So when I get a sample, I can actually look at the pollen in the sample and figure out where that sample came from. Interesting. I mean, so it's almost like where do you start, though? There, there's a lot of different pollen types, aren't there? Yes, there are. There's about 380,000 different species of plants on the planet, and each one has its own unique type. So really, it's a lot of sifting through uh, research books and really just kind of experience-based. What, kind of so what kind of investigations then do you work with? So um, CBP partners a lot with um, state, local, federal agencies, as well as nonprofit or organizations. And since I'm the only person really doing this full time for the country, um, I deal with just about everything, ranging from narcotic smuggling to homicide. So I hope to figure out where you know, an individual came from or where a sample came from, such as where mar marijuana was grown. How does weather play a role? Because I imagine rain would be a factor, maybe wind carrying pollen from one place to another? Yes, it makes my life very interesting. So as I said before, each region has its own unique pollen print. But when you get weather factors such as thunderstorms and high winds, it will pick up pollen from one region and transport it to another. In extreme cases, when you have those dust storms coming in from, say, China, it's actually carrying Chinese pollen to, say, the United States. So it, I have to do a lot more research. <laughs> so I'm speaking of future research. Do you think there's um, you know, a future for using pollen, pollen, pollenology excuse me, um, to solve crimes? Oh, for sure. It has a lot of potential. Other countries are already doing this, where pollen can be used in court. The United States, we don't so much do that. Instead, we do what's called geolocation, where we try to figure out where a sample came from, rather than trying to tie a suspect to a crime scene. So we do things just a little bit differently here. Well, Andy Lawrence, thank you so much for joining us. It's fascinating. Forensic pollenology. Who knew?